So today, basically what we're going to do is start going through some of the craziest things I've implemented with ChatGPT for my SEO agency. Now, I talk a lot about creating content. Today, I want to focus on actually managing a team because this is absolutely crucial for your SEO agency. And I'm going to show you some of the best ways to basically turn ChatGPT into the CEO of your own SEO agency so that you can scale, so that you can get your team to be managed on autopilot. And this is gonna take all the stress out of managing your team. Now, this is a massive danger to SEO agencies. Most people don't realize this. It's the fact that because ChatGPT is coming out, yes, it makes it easier to scale your agency, but at the same time, what I've seen with my own team and what I've seen with a lot of other agencies as well is that they get lazy now. And the problem is, if you get lazy and let's say your team starts using ChatGPT for everything, well, actually, you're not providing any value to the client. If you're not providing any value to the client, then they're not going to use you anymore and your retention rates are just going to drop and plummet down, essentially, right? And so one of the first things that I want to show you is essentially, no matter how good your systems are, things will drop in your SEO agency and you need to be prepared for this. So here's how I automate it with ChatGPT. One of the first things that you want to think about is how shine shoes save lives. And I know that's totally random, but essentially, if you've ever heard of this phrase before, it's something that Dan Kennedy talks about a lot. It's like shine shoes, basically discipline, keeping your shoes shined actually helps you operate better as an agency because if you have discipline as a culture across your team, then they're going to do everything they need to be doing, even when nobody else is looking. And that's what you want. What you don't want is a team that just stops doing all your systems, stops implementing everything because you just turn the other way and they're, and they're like, oh, Julian isn't watching anymore. I'm going to stop doing all the work. Uh, so essentially, how do you do that with ChatGPT? One of the first things that I would recommend is that you actually check your team's emails and check, okay, is the quality of what they're sending good enough when it comes to actually answering stuff? And, and this is one of the most important things to think about. It's like, if you look at your sent inbox from your team, you want to have a look through their email responses and see, okay, are they just copying and pasting from ChatGPT and using that to automate all the responses? Or are they actually providing value and giving something personalized? And I think the more we use ChatGPT day to day, for me, for example, I use it all day, every day, the more people desire human connection, which is why YouTube and all these other platforms where, you know, Twitter as well, where it's human to human interactions are actually thriving because people crave human connection. Now, how do you implement that within your agency? I would say, number one, check your team's emails, make sure that they're actually providing value in them, look through them and make sure they're not just copying and pasting chat GPT fluff. And then additionally, you want to do some daily spot checks. Now, coming back to that idea of shine shoes save lives, Essentially, you want to do some spot checking when it comes to your team, because this is important, not just for you as an SEO agency to make more money and, and to help your clients as well, but also to manage your team properly, because you want to protect them from the risks of ChatGPT, which is not giving enough value, not providing any value outside of AI, not being personalized enough, and not giving your clients that human to human connection, which is why they're hiring you in the first place, right? Otherwise, they just automate everything with ChatGPT. And so one of the best ways to do this is to just ask ChatGPT, okay, give me some daily spot checks so that I can ensure standards are met for my team, right? So for example, let's say you've got a team of account managers, and if you don't have a team yet, you can do this for yourself as well. But essentially, you want to get some spot checks down that you can use day to day so that you know what to look out for to avoid your team missing systems or missing doing things or, or forgetting things off their to-do list. So for example, like checking communication logs, reviewing client feedback, auditing project timelines, like is everything done on time? Are deadlines being met? Have they missed any issues? Monitoring their performance metrics and their KPIs and engaging in like random account reviews, you know, like pick a random account and, and do a deep dive, look at everything. And with ChatGPT, you can basically turn this process is normally very manual and very time consuming. And sometimes it's hard to know what to check in the first place. We can actually automate that with ChatGPT. Now to take that a whole new level further, what you can actually do is if you're using Gemini, I prefer Gemini for this, and I'll show you why in a second, is you can plug this into Gemini. So you can say, right, I want to do some spot checks for my account management team, or my sales team, or my marketing team. And then you figure out, okay, here's exactly what to look out for. But additionally, you can say, turn this into a day-to-day -day tracker on Google Sheets 
that me or my team can fill out daily. And then I know everything that should be getting done is being done. And I don't have to like, just, you know, cross my fingers and hope that everyone's doing what they should be. And this just automates a lot of time that you can waste on coaching and management and hiring and, and just makes it much easier to manage your team. So what you'll see here is that Gemini actually gives you a list of categories and checks for your team. So for example, like check in recent emails or check in if client inquiries were answered within 24 hours. Like these are really good checks. Spot check in if recent client feedback was positive. Reviewing account renewal date against a set target. And then what you can do is you can actually export this to Google Sheets, like you can see right here. So you just click this button inside Gemini. And if you're not familiar with Gemini, basically it's, it's Google's version of ChatGPT. And so what you can do from here is you've got the category, you've got the check description, and now I would recommend that you actually get your team to fill this out daily. So you can have account manager one, account manager two, account manager three, etc., And they can all fill this out every single day so that you know the spot checks are being done and they're monitoring their own performance and being held accountable. And all you need to do is check that spreadsheet for like two minutes a day. And that basically automates the managing and the coaching. If you see things drop inside the spreadsheet, you can quickly message them and, and it highlights the issues. Whereas for what most SEO, for most SEO agencies, they don't realize that something is wrong inside the business. And the only time they realize is when it's too late, too late, basically when they've lost a client, right? So automating the spot checks and keeping your team accountable to higher standards is going to protect your business, going to help you make more money, it's help, going to help you keep your clients for longer, and everything else is going to be much easier. Now, if you're watching this, feel free to post any comments or questions that you've got along the way. Otherwise, I'm going to show you some, another workflow that you can actually use to automate managing your team, which is getting Gemini or ChatGPT to give you some recommended KPIs for improving your team's performance, right? Now, this could be for your account managers, could be for your marketing team, could be for yourself, right? You could say, give me some KPIs for improving my own performance as a CEO of my agency. But essentially what it will do is give you some recommended KPIs, for example, like net promoter score, customer satisfaction scores, lifetime value, churn rate, etc. And you could even say, okay, now break that down and bear in mind, we're at the beginning of 2024. So this is a really good time to, to set KPIs. You can say, now break that down into 90 day milestones for every quarter this year. And give me a tracker my team can fill out. And this will essentially give you a scorecard to help automate the management of your team and keep them very, very focused on exactly what they need to achieve, right? So for example, it could be like, right, Q1, we're going to establish the NPS score for what my team needs to achieve, right? And if you're not familiar with net NPS score, it's basically net promoter score. And what it means is it's a way of easily identifying how happy or unhappy your clients are. Now, why do you want to measure that? Because as an SEO agency, you want to keep your clients happy so that they stay with you for longer and so that they spend more with you, right? And with NPS scores, you can easily figure out, okay, are my account managers doing a good job? So you can establish the baseline in Q1. You can increase the NPS score by 5% in Q2, maintain or improve the NPS score in Q3, and then aim for like a top quartile NPS score in Q4, right? And this is basically your team's KPI sorted for the year and you literally automated it in 10 minutes. Now, bear in mind, if you hired like a coach or a consultant to do this for you, if you said to a coach, oh, I need some KPIs for my account management team, what do you recommend? They're gonna come back to you with a report in like one month, but you can automate it in two minutes and it doesn't cost you a penny. Normally like HR experts or management and leadership coaches are gonna charge you an absolute fortune for this. And you can just automate it for free using Gemini. You can quickly export it to Google Sheets and it just automates the management of your whole team. Really, really powerful workflow right there. So that we've basically shown so far how to quickly spot check your team, how to quickly turn that into a Google Sheets tracker so they can manage themselves and hold themselves accountable, how to set KPIs for your team for the whole year, uh, specifically for their, for their team. So you could say, okay, now do the same for my marketing and operations team. 
and it will do the same for, for the rest of the departments in your business as well. And another critical part of actually doing this process is giving feedback to your time, team, right? So you want to manage your team so they understand exactly what they need to improve, but you need to do it in a way where you're not being an absolute savage to your team, right? You want to manage them in a nice way, respectful, polite, and basically manage them logically, not emotionally, right? Now, how do you do that? Well, you can actually type your problem into Gemini, like so, and you can say, my team keep forgetting to fill out their daily sales metrics. What actions can I implement to ensure they do this every day? And then you can get some short and actionable tips using this prompt right here. And if we wait for that to load, let's see how it goes. Now you can see that it's recommended some really actionable ways that you can improve the feedback of your team and make sure they actually fill out the systems that you have in place, right? So spot checks, team dashboards, tying their compensation to performance, positive reinforcement and turning you know, all of these processes into like scoring systems and leaderboards and small rewards along the way. This is like automation of your team and automation of management and leadership qualities in, in ways that have never been seen before, right? It's really powerful, right? So making it easy, integrating this into your systems and then making sure you have a culture of accountability and ownership. And finally, just doing some positive reinforcement to build that kind of fun culture where people actually enjoy their job, right? You have to get that balance between people enjoying their job and making sure that everyone's doing what they should be in and taking things seriously at the same time. So that is basically it for my processes that turn ChatGPT into the boss of your SEO agency so that you can automate delegating, hiring, you can understand exactly what's going wrong and how to fix it quickly, and you can understand exactly how to feed back those issues to your team to get them fixed really, really quickly using all of this process. Plus, you have free trackers that normally, I mean, these would cost like absolute an absolute fortune to get good data and good reporting and good trackers like this in place. Whereas with this, you can automate it in literally two minutes. And I would recommend Gemini for this. So what I'm actually going to do is I will take all the prompts from today, these ones right here. So we've talked about the dangers of chat GPT for SEO agencies, because you know you might spend all your time managing and coaching the team. And no matter how good your systems are, things will drop. So how can you be prepared for this? Well, you can automate it with ChatGPT. We've talked about how to automate spot checks. We've talked about the best prompts for doing that. We've talked about how to create trackers to manage your team. And we've talked about how to solve any problems that come up in your team as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside my free agency course. So if you want to learn how to scale your SEO agency, you can actually do so using the free course I have available, links in the comments and description. And if you go to my free SEO agency course right here, let me load it up. It comes with loads of different workflows on how to get more leads, how to close clients, how to generate more interest in your agency, how to create content for your agency, how to hire, etc. cetera. And I'm gonna take all the prompts that I've used from today on how to hire and delegate and manage your team. And we'll put this into the free SEO agency course right here. It's actually got like 2,700 people in already. It's pretty crazy. And I'm going to put this inside the Gemini Ultra section right here. We'll click add lesson. And you can do this on ChatGPT as well. It doesn't have to be for, for Gemini. But we're going to put ChatGPT as a boss. So that's the name of the module. And in the video notes, you'll find a link to all the prompts and SAPs that we've talked about today. And that's available to get. Link is in the comments and description of this video. So thanks so much for watching. Now, if you do want to order backlinks for your SEO agency and you want to white label them, we actually offer this service on our client portal right here. Link's in the comments and description. And you can save 20% when you use the code white label, right? So if you want to save 20% on backlinks and basically white label them so that you don't need to fulfill them. I know that's an absolute grind. I've been doing it for like six or seven years. If you want to get backlinks that are high quality, if you want to scale your link building and get quality backlinks that your clients are pleased with, feel free to order them on this page. Uh, just use the code white label and you can get backlinks for 20% for off. Additionally, you might be interested in scaling your SEO agency. And if that's the case, based on what's working for me, I've created a very powerful, concise, 
proven SEO agency roadmap that's helped me scale to multiple seven figures. So if you want to basically never worry about getting clients again, feel free to get the SEO agency mastermind. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Mohammed Usman says, hey, boss. Hello there. And I'm going to head off on that note. Thanks.